Independence Day marks 100 years since the end of World War One. Special ceremony was held at the Milwaukee County War Memorial. Our Tatiana Cash was there. She's in the newsroom right now with more. Tatiana? That's right. Those who attended this morning's program says it's about more than taps or the rifle salute. It's about honoring fallen and thanking the veterans that are still here and have sacrificed so much. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light. A day to pause and remember. In the Milwaukee County War Memorial's crowded lobby, Wisconsin Secretary of Veteran Affairs thanks veterans for their sacrifice and then challenges the audience to think. What does Veterans Day really mean? And what's the definition? Marine veteran Mark Goleski says it's not that simple. It's a mix of different emotions, uh, sadness, gratitude, happiness. Nursing students from Marquette University also take part in the ceremony. It was a really big honor to be able to be part of this ceremony and be able to lay down the wreath. It definitely felt like a very special moment to be a part of. Wilson has nursing classes at the Zablocki VA Medical Center. What's that experience like? I really enjoy working with veterans. I think they're a really special population. It feels really good to be able to give back to these people that have given so much for us in our country. Who gave their best when called upon to serve and protect this great nation. Galeski says many of the older vets may shy away from being the center of attention, but it's important to take action. I think that we should seek out those veterans, especially those in our neighborhoods that we know that are veterans. Do something kind for them. Now, whether it's shake a hand, give a hug, or just do a verbal thank you, today's ceremony highlights the importance of recognizing veteran, veteran sacrifices. Here in the newsroom, I'm Tatiana Cash for today's TMJ4. Yes, and we thank them all. Tatiana, thank you.